Hi, Dr. Goldberg here, giving you a quick rundown on strep infections. What you need to know. Bullet points. Uh, strep, micro lab wise, is alpha, beta, or gamma strep, depending on how they hemolyze blood auger. Our alpha streptococci are strep pneumonia and the strep virdans group. Those are the most common clinical isolates you're going to see. The virdans group are primarily strep virdans itself. Occasionally you'll see strep intermedius and strep milleri, but these are very sticky strep organisms. They live in the oropharynx when they're in the blood. They have a high uh, predilection to cause endocarditis. <clears throat> Our pneumococcus is also an alpha strep and of course causes devastating disease uh, in adults meningitis, pneumonia, endocarditis, uh, septic shock, uh, that type of thing. So we go to beta strep. The beta strep, of course, completely hemolyzed blood and have a clear zone uh, on blood auger. Most common clinical isolates are group A, B, and G. Uh, I think clinically we mostly see cellulitis with these organisms. Uh, in the adult population. Very serious cellulitis, a lot of lymphangitis, lymphadenitis associated with the cellulitis. Uh, and fortunately, still very sensitive to penicillin. Uh, not a lot of resistance out there with the uh, beta hemolytic strep. Though sometimes we will add aminoglycosides for synergy if, if they're in the blood. The alpha streptococci, uh, of course, the a strep virans group tends to still be very sensitive to penicillin. Pneumococcus is another issue that we'll discuss at another time. The gamma streptococci are the enterococci. Uh, enterococcus faecalis primarily is the pathogen you need to know about. Uh, there's enterococcus facium, but it's not as common. The enterococcus faecalis species is a very common pathogen in urinary tract infections and in GI infections when it's alone. Uh, when it's uh, in the GI tract uh, with other organisms such as gram-negative rods and anaerobes, it tends to be going along for the ride. Not very virulent. When it's in the blood, uh, it's extremely virulent. causes a terrible endocarditis. It causes about 5 to 10 percent of urinary tract infections, especially look for it in uh, older men with prostate infections. Uh, sensitive to ampicillin. Uh, most species are sensitive to ampicillin uh, or amoxicillin. Occasionally, we're seeing obviously vancomycin resistance. For the penicillin resist, for the penicillin allergic patient, we'll use uh, vancomycin. Um, tends to be very effective uh, for this organism. So, bottom line: alpha, beta, gamma, strep know a little about what the species are, uh, and we'll go from there. Have a good day.